Oh, okay guys, I wanted to tell you whenever I was talking about you need to be your authentic self and if you're not open to everyone and just be who you are, think what you think, uh, talk about what you want to talk. And I um, can't remember, there were several people that asked me about, well, um, people just don't hear it, they don't understand it, they whatever, whatever. Okay. I want you to be your authentic self, talk about what you want to talk and believe in just as openly and readily as a Christian is allowed to talk about their belief system or a Buddhist is allowed to talk about their belief system even if there are other people in the room who are not of like faith. What I want you to do is be able to talk about what you believe anyway, okay? I want you to expect for everyone to sit around and listen politely like everyone's expected to sit around and listen politely to a Christian talk about their belief system. And if they don't, it's kind of like helping other people. You don't expect anything from them. So if you feel like talking about you the fairies or the new creatures you're seeing out of the peripheral of your eye and you're getting the eye rolls and the <gasps> well just then same thing wish them well on their path don't get angry don't get upset but don't change your story don't let them bully you into submission by their eye rolling or their interruption stand in your truth so they don't have to agree with you. You don't need that. You're a stronger person than that. But if you want to talk to somebody about it, uh, talk to them about it. Uh, really safe, though, to talk to the little kids. Uh, you can talk to little kids about fairies and dragons and, and give them the correct version of what you see as you start to see them. Nobody will interfere with that, and they're more fun to talk to anyway. Go volunteer at a... Ch at, excuse me any place that needs help with children interact with those guys they're great to interact with and they're not going to argue with you because they remember they know but even if you're with a group of people don't fight them don't get upset just if they roll their eyes then that's okay that's okay but um it's about time all of us that have these other views uh this is you know my grandfather i've got my great grandfather died at uh, World War II, fighting the Hitler and the Germans for freedom for this country. He didn't want freedom for Christians. He wanted freedom for everybody. And especially in the South, I think the only way that it's going to change is if we start changing it, right? So the only way we start changing it is start talking about our truth and who we are, what we love, and how we experience that in spite of the fact that, especially in America, the Christians kind of will overwhelm you and make you treat you bad. The only way that works is if you care what they think. If you don't care what they think, you're just sharing your point of view. Whether they listen to your point of view or not, it's not really relevant, is it? it really isn't. Who knows what they'll pick up and share? Or, or maybe there's a kid in the next room who's listening who now... His mind was going, well, I know there's fairies. I played with them yesterday afternoon, but Mommy's telling me there's no such thing and there's make-believe. What do I do? If there's somebody that hears first or second hand about what you're saying who might help them get to 5D, isn't that worth it? Don't pay any attention to the other guys. Don't pay any attention to them. Don't expect them to jump on your bandwagon, but then you don't need them to do that, do you? Tell your story. If they don't like it, that's cool. Um, I don't like the Christian story. I don't want to hear it. Uh, you have no idea how many times I've heard it. As a matter of fact, I'm just pretty much I tell them right up front that, you know, preacher's daughter, 57, 25 years in the South. I already know their stories. Um, it's not my gig. And uh, I don't need to hear it again. And uh, I just stand up for myself now and say, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe the Bible. I don't believe in your God. Uh, I don't. This is why. And this is how I feel. You know, this is how I feel. 
or if I have an exciting moment and I say, oh my gosh, one of my pub friends was following me as a sphere of my video. Most of the time, people just kind of go, really? And they just will tie it, go with it. As long as you keep it short, just don't go into long lengths. Keep it short. Most of the time, people will just agree with you. They'll just agree, and you can talk about it, and who knows who will hear it. Maybe there's, you know, you, you have no idea how many people are hiding it because they don't, they're scared of how people will respond. So what if you start talking? And what if maybe there's a hundred people that roll their eyes and make fun of you, but maybe there's one person that felt like they were all alone, and now they hear you talk, and they don't feel alone. And maybe they can't talk to you because they don't feel that good about it, but maybe a month down the road, they can talk about it. You think I don't get a lot of blowback for what I'm doing here on these videos? <laughs> I don't agree. What I have to say doesn't agree with anybody. Like I've said before, everybody disagrees with what I have to say. Nobody's happy about what I have to say. But you know what? Now I know I'm a creator God. And by them disagreeing and rolling their eyes, guess who created that? Guess who drew that aspect of them? Yep, I did. There's only one way that I'm going to change that and see people accepting and loving. And that is to visualize them as being accept accepting and loving and keep being my authentic self, stand in my truth, and just keep going there until I get the response. And then I will have done a good job of going to the right timelines. If they're responding poorly, guess whose fault it is? Right. Yours. Mine. So you talk, you be yourself, you open up, and when you got to the right timelines, you're going to get, wow, and I, I thought I was the only one, but man, I saw this, this, and this. Gage talking to people and how they respond to you, that'll tell you where you are on your timelines. But if you're afraid to talk to anybody because you're afraid of the response, I guarantee you, you're going to stay in the lower vibrations of 4D. It's the only way out. You got to go, nope, I know. If they respond badly, at least I'll know where I am. If they respond positively, woo-ha, I am moving along in my timelines. Yay. Okay? All right. Be your authentic self. You are a creator God. Wish them well if they disagree with you. Enjoy the changes as you go to timelines where the earth understands the new ways. All right? Okay, guys. Huge hugs. Love you bunches. Bye now.